I can say without exaggeration that 99.9% of the American population are against funeral picketing of Westboro Baptist Church. It makes me wonder what exactly are they against? Picketing soldiers' funerals people don't like. Even people who defend Westboro Baptist Church's right to protest don't agree with picketing funerals. Besides Westboro Baptist Church, you'd be hard-pressed to find a single individual who would say, it's good to picket funerals. Is this just the people they picket? Or abstractly, picketing funerals in general? Would there ever be instances where it would be deemed worthy and wise by the majority or even a great plurality of people to picket funerals. I don't know about you, but there are some people I think that are evil in this world. And when they die, it's a good thing. When Saddam Hussein died, it was great. What about child molesters? Would it be morally justifiable to picket the funerals of child molesters? Do they deserve funerals? What if Westboro Baptists, instead of picketing soldiers' funerals, which many people deem as heroes, picketed the funerals of the ultimate outcasts, child molesters? Would it be acceptable to do that? Would the same people that have such big objections to them picketing the funerals of soldiers object to them picketing the funerals of child molesters. It's something to think about. When Hitler died, a lot of people were very happy. If he had a funeral, I'm sure a lot of people would want to picket that. This raises the question, is funeral picketing in and of itself the objectable thing, or is the problem who Westboro Baptist targets? Certainly, most times when they picket funerals it's morally objectionable but is funeral picketing per se in and of itself the problem I agree with a lot of the perspectives of the website therighttobewrong.net one of the frequently asked questions that guy puts up on his frequently asked question page is what would you do if somebody if they picketed the funeral of one of your love member loved ones he has a very enlightened answer he says if they did I would pull off the carpet and invite them in as a guest of honor that's the same type of attitude I have I will give one qualification when a family member, when a loved one would die of mine, most of the other people around there wouldn't want Westboro Baptist Church to be there. But if I had total control, I would say, great, opportunity to meet them. That's what I want to do. Furthermore, I got the same response to one of my YouTube videos. I recently made a YouTube video about how glad I was that Westboro Baptist Church won their appeal in America freedom of speech reigns and I was very glad about that somebody said you wouldn't be saying hooray if one of your loved ones was picketed at their funeral I really don't have too many loved ones everyone has a cross to bear and one of my crosses to bear is having a shitty family I don't talk to most of my family. In fact, I don't think I'm even going to most of their funerals. My dad didn't go to his gra my grandmother's funeral. He even said he'd piss on her grave. So that response 
I believe the username is CEE2 or 3 or something like that, isn't going to work to me. It's not going to get to me. Because I really don't have loved ones. I grew up in an alcoholic family. There's no love there. I grew up in a fundamentalist family. There's no love there. Like I mentioned in one of my previous videos, the Patriot Guard supporters often go very far in their hatred of Westboro Baptist Church. When people post up Westboro Baptist Church and Patriot Guard activities, people say, I'm going to kick their ass. I'm going to kill them. We should do this and that. We should hurt them. Westboro Baptist Church even had one link to a video that was put up by the Patriot Guard Riders people. And on that video, they essentially assaulted one of the Westboro Baptist Church members. He got up on a snow bank and they got it, knocked him off essentially, which may qualify as assault. It would be certainly warranted to bring that to trial the jury would have to decide whether it be legal assault even threatening violence against people in most jurisdictions is illegal we have statutes statutes of against what are called terroristic threats in Minnesota if you threaten violence under law 609.713 you can be given a felony so these people are not respecting our nation's laws. If they don't like the laws against violence, if they don't like the laws against assault, then I say they need to go to North Korea or China, where funeral picketing is banned. I went to the website of the Patriot Guard writers more than once before, and they have frequently asked questions. It's really interesting because they ask, can I wear my biking gear there? And then there's a part that says, you want to make sure to cover up all patches that have obscenity on them. Why would they want to wear patches that have obscene things on them to funerals? Westboro Baptist Church blatantly disrespects the funeral rites. But they're also disrespecting it. They also have to tell them to pick up their smoking cigarettes, their alcohol, their soda cans. It makes you wonder. Would you ever, in theory or in actuality, support funeral picketing? I'm not talking about funeral picketing the good guys. People society deems as heroes. But what about the bad guys? Something to think about, my friends.